Hello friends, this is Amita Gupta. Welcome you again for the next experiment of digital electronics using virtual lab. Today we will see the verify the truth table of RSJK TD flip flop uh, using nano gates using the virtual lab. Okay, so we'll start now. First, go to the Google. Okay, and type virtual lab. In virtual lab, click on vlab.co.in. Click on electronics and communication. And click on Digital Electrons Lab 1 designed by IIT Rukhi. Okay. Click on list of experiments. There are 12 experiments. We have already done first five. You can watch my previous videos if you want. Click on the sixth experiment, verification of the truth table of R S J P T and D. So first I'll explain the theory. Then, uh, then I'll explain the solution. Okay. So there are four types of flip-flop. Okay. There are four types of flip-flop, R S, D, J, K, and T. The first is RS flip-flop. RS flip-flop is also called as set reset flip-flop. Okay. Difference between flip-flop and latch. Last time we have done RS uh, SR latch. So here clock is there. In the previous circuit, clock was not. Okay. So what is the truth table of RS? If both inputs are zero, then whatever the previous output will be same. That is called no change condition. Previous. Okay. If it is zero, one, that is called reset condition. Means R1. Means reset is on. Okay. When it is one zero means as one set is on. It's called set condition. When both are one, then output cannot be same. That's why it's called forbidden states, intermediate state, or not allowed state. That is a truth table. Okay. Uh, when both are zero, then output is no change. Zero one reset one zero set one one forbidden. Okay. This is a circuit diagram of the RS flip flop. R input clock input. So here output of hand gate is R input clock. Okay. And the uh, below. Output of, uh, of this end gate is S into clock. And what is the output Q? Output Q will be R into clock from one input. Second input is it is cross coupled. Cross coupled means output of one is connected to input of other. So plus as it is NOR gate, Q dash, then the whole dash due to NOR gate, it is a Q. And what is Q dash? Q dash is S into CK plus Q whole dash. Okay. This is the uh, SR flip flop. This is SR flip flop. Okay. Now, next is our D flip flop. The main thing is they have used the same circuit. This is the same uh, RS flip flop. Okay, the D flip flop, same circuit. See, circuit is same, only difference is here. Here, D and D dash. D input and D dash. Okay. Here, R and S clock. Here, not RS. Here, uh, at place of RS. Here, it was previously R. Here, D. Here, previously R. S, it is D dash. That's so, the name of this flip flop is delay flip flop. Delay, delay means after some time. So in the D flip flop, we uh, means sometimes you know need synchronization. We want same output after some time. So that's uh, for that purpose we use delay flip flop. Okay. So since understood the truth table here, output you know how to calculate. This is from here D, here from D dash, okay, D dash. So here it will be D into clock. Here it is D dash into clock. D dash into clock. So output Q will be here. D into clock plus D dash. D into, sorry, D into clock plus Q dash. O dash. From here, D dash into clock plus Q dash, the whole dash. Okay, this is the equation, uh, output equation. Now see here, uh, this is D input, reset clock output. Uh, remember one thing. Okay, one second. Remember one thing, when this reset is on, when reset is in, whatever the input, whatever the, out, uh, the clock and what doesn't matter, output is always zero. When reset is on, output is always zero. When reset is not on, when clock is on, then output is same as input. Output is the same as input. When clock is on, output is same as input. Okay, otherwise, zero. so this is delay flow. This is delay flow. Next is our ticket flow. Now see again the circuit same and gate and nor gates. But here in JK flip flop three inputs. One, two inputs are same like in RS flip flop. Clock R clock S. But third input is the output of this stage. Third input is the output of this stage. But if the same circuit is uh, drawn with the help of NAND gate, if the same circuit is uh, drawn with the help of NAND gate, means all inputs are NAND. No, oh sorry, all gates are NAND. Then remember. The third input is the, this is cross coupled, okay. 
sorry. Wrong uh, Suppose I'm uh, drawing here only. If it was NAND gauge, if it is here, it was NAND gauge, then this will not connect it here. This third input will be connected here. And see, and this one will be connected. If the circuit is drawn with the help of only NAND gates, this is also NAND gate, and this, all four gates are NAND gate, then this third input will be from Q dash here from the Q. That is a difference. Okay. If you will draw it from the help of uh, uh, NAND gate only. Okay. Now come to the truth table. In truth table, three tables same. 0, 0, no change. 0, 1, 0, 0, no change means whatever previous input. 0, 1, it will be 0, 1, it is 1, 0, it's 1, 0. For 0, 1, it is reset. Mean whatever the previous 0, 1, 1, 0, it will be 0, 1 output. And Q dash is opposite of it. For 1, 0, whatever the previous, it is 0, 1 or 1, 0. But here at current, it will be 1, 1 only. This set condition. But for 1, 1 in the RS, we it was forbidden state, is not allowed. But here it is toggle condition. Toggle means if previously it is 0, 1, then it will be 1, 0. If it is previously 1, 0, now it will be 0, 1. Okay. But does it is difference between the RS flip flop and the JK flip flop. Okay. Now come to the T flip flop. T flip flop, the pilot's name is a toggle flip flop. The diagram of JK and T is same, but difference is here K and J input were there. Here both inputs are same T and T. Both inputs same T here, T here. Okay. Now, uh, to table, when the clock is on, then output is opposite of input when T is 1. When T is 1, the output is toggles. Output becomes Q dash. Previously, it was 0, it was 1, 1, 0. So we have learned the four uh, flip flop RS, RETS, uh, uh, reset set, set reset flip flop, okay? D, delay flip flop, JK, toggles. Uh, JK is uh, like the uh, like improvement of RS flip flop, only the one condition change, one one toggle condition, and T toggle flip flop. These four flip flops we have learned the theory. Now we'll see the simulation part. It's a simulation part. Okay. The first one is SR flip flop. See, this is circuit. If you remember theory part for uh for RS flip flop. One second. This is C. Then the theory, the circuit was like this. See, and gate and non gate. But here we are using the Sorry, I'm just uh, opening two windows one for theory and one for sorry, this was not one previous one. I'm one uh, for theory, one for simulation. I'm just opening the two windows, okay, so that you can understand. See. This is a circuit and this is a theory. In the theory, AND gate and NOR gate circuit was given, but here, oh, it's automatically, it's doing. It is automatically taking this, okay, no issues. Uh, see, in the theory, uh, the circuit was like this, to AND gate. And to north, okay. And to north, this was cross couple. R S and clock. Okay, this was a theory, but this is a, a ready-made IC you can use. And uh, I'm explaining the circuit inside the IC. So here they have taken the circuit, both NAND gates. All gates are NAND gates. This NAND gate, this NAND gate, this NAND gate. This language. Okay, this is cross couple, obviously. This is cross couple. No, this is S, R, and this one is clock. Q and Q dash. Okay, so see, this is one input is S, one input is clock. Okay, here one input is R, and one input is clock. Okay, like this S clock, R clock, S clock, R clock. Okay, now these two Q, Q dash. This is Q and this is Q dash. Q, Q dash. Now, these two are cross coupled. So, this output is connected to the input of this one. This output, I'm taking the another pen. This output is connected to the input of other one. 
and this output is connected to the input of other. So second circuit, this one. Okay, this is the sixth circuit. See first circuit S clock R clock. This S clock R clock. Okay, this is second circuit upper one. Q Q dash Q is connected to the input of second. Now one input is output of this one. So its output is its input, and its output is this. One. This is a explanation of this IC inside. Okay. Actually, in theory, they have used this circuit and in null gate, but in a simulation, the IC, it, uh, the circuit inside is it, all the NAND gates. That was all about the theory. Now, see the simulation part. Simulation, you know, first you have to click on the power. Okay. Now, if clock is not there, SR00, then it will be no change. Now, clock on SR00, then also no change. Clock on S1 means set on. So, output will be 1. Zero. The output is one zero. Okay. Now clock on R one as zero. Then reset zero one. Then clock on and both are one. Invalid state because it's SR zero. It's invalid state. So this clock is on S one R zero output one S zero R one output zero. Set reset. Okay. Uh, it's uh, SR flip flop. Now next is D flip flop. Now in D flip flop, uh, what is QD? Uh, uh, if you remember the circuit of D flip flop, okay. If you remember the circuit of D flip flop, they have used AND gate. But here uh, again, all the NAND gates are there. All the NAND gates are there. These are cross couple, okay. These are cross couple. Now difference is one is clock, okay. But one input is D and other input is D dash. One inverter is used here. So another input is D dash. That's why two different IC is used here. Okay. One input is D and other input is D dash. So see here, this is D and D. So here it is D dash. I'm explaining you the circuit inside the IC. Okay? This is D dash. Okay. So uh, see, one input is D, one input is clock. This is this much. Okay. Now one input is uh, D dash and one input is clock. That is this one. D clock, D dash clock. Now output, this is Q and suppose this is Q dash. Second, Q, Q dash, Q, Q dash, okay, Q, Q dash. Now this output is connected to the input of first one and this output is connected to the input of input of second one because these are cross -cut, okay and these connected output of the connected so this output is connected from here to its one input and from here to its uh, an input. so this was circuit inside the clock so you take your notebook and try yourself and check the connection then you are, it will be easily for you to learn okay so this was the theory uh, it's behind the circuit now, this is clock. On uh, first, we have to apply the power. Otherwise, you can see the instruction here. Given here instruction, all the instruction. So click on power. Now, add means we have not applied anything. Only clock is there, so no change. Now clock on, and D is also on. See clock on. Now output is same as input. Input was one. The output is one. Now clock on. Input zero. Output is zero because input was zero. So D is a delay flip from the same output per delay. Okay. When clock is on, whatever D, D was one, the output is one, D was zero, then output is zero. Okay. So this was all about the D flip flop. Next is JK flip flop. In JK flip flop, the circuit used here. See the circuit, two NAND gates. Okay. Two NAND gate, okay. Here, here. These two are cross coupled, you know. So it's cross coupled. Okay. Now, according to theory, there are three inputs used. This is a clock. So how the third input? Third input is see here, connected the two dash, not the upper side. Okay. See this difference. 
and this third input is from here connected this is a circuit behind ic now see this is j this is clock this is k this is clock now third input third input is this much see and the third input is here like clock this is the third input is this okay and these two are cross coupled so this is the theory now exp uh, now simulation part first we have to apply uh, click on supply now clock now you know very well when the clock is on jk 0 0 then definitely output is not changed now clock on j1 set condition q1 clock on k1 reset condition q0 mm -hmm. and clock on both one it will be toggle condition toggle toggle means c clock on okay j1 k1 so what was previous previous was zero it becomes one that is top this is the timing diagram of jk so next is t flip top not uh, if you remember the theory of t flip flop so both input uh, means if you remember the diagram what i have uh, drawn here okay this what is writing on this not good this is uh, this clock okay same input t is connected here okay and the third input is like connected from here this third input so t input t is connected so see here this is t t is here okay t is here one and t is here okay t t other one is clock and clock inputs and third input is output of this see here this is third input third input is taken from here is this out okay and same here this third input is taken from this this out so this this way three three inputs so this is a theory for the T flip flop now simulation and toggle flip flop flip on. Sorry, first of all, I just forgot to switch on the power. Click on this power after power on, clock on. Suppose I'm clock on and T on, then add. See, clock on T1. Uh, what is the previous output? It will be toggles. Okay, see, and clock on T0. Output becomes one. It toggles. Okay. So in this way, we have learned all the flip flops, uh, RS, JK, T, T, with the theory and the solution. I hope you like it. Please like and share. Keep learning. Keep sharing. Participate.